Welcome back to Dawn. Kind of kicking back, relaxing, and having fun with my friend Marilyn Russell, who's the, the voice of Philadelphia's morning airwaves on uh, 95.7 Ben FM. And also, I love your Women of the Week, which is 7.30 uh, Sunday mornings. I, I love, and I, even the one morning, I think I texted you or emailed you and said, I'm having the coffee, out with uh, Buddy the dog, throwing the ball, and listening to your radio show. So Thank I, you. I just, I, I think the world of you, because you're real people. Thank you. You know, well, that's, that's the what, Philly thing, I think. Yeah, but what, let's talk about some of your favorite things because you know the restaurants, you know music. I mean, what are some of your favorite restaurants? In and that's how we were talking about, you know, doing this speech just from Twitter. I really just took all of my favorite things, rolled it all into one, and it was like, there you go in a nutshell. But, you know, the food blog is important to me. I love dining out. I'm not that great of a cook, so dining out is pretty spectacular. And how lucky are we? Like, I met Jose Garces once, and you would have thought, I was meeting like Mick Jagger <laughs> because I, he is a rock star to me, a man that can cook like that, you know. So I love all of his properties, JG Domestic and Jose Garces. Um, and of course, Steven Starr has been here forever, and Jones is phenomenal, and Budokan. And, love Budokan. Um, but I live in Maniunk, so now I eat at a lot of places. My little favorite burger joint is Lucky's right on Main Street. And so, um, you know, it's just a, a great food town. Yeah, it really is. By the way, there's a woman-owned business, and I wanted to get her on Woman of the Week. She runs the pierogi kitchen in Roxborough. When was the last time you had a good pierogi? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, every flavor, even oh, chocolate. This is good. Yeah, Ooh. really good. So. Yeah, my kids, well, Michael being the vegetarian, we, we love this place called Stella Sierra in Chestnut Hill. Yeah. And so they make the homemade pasta. It's great. I shouldn't even say it because then it'll make Philly Mag, will put it in their magazine, <laughs> and then you will never get in there. And there ever you know? again. Right. We shouldn't even talk about our favorite place. No, places, that's a right? great place in Chestnut Hill, too. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, we love our coconut shrimp down in down the hill of the Chestnut Hill. Oh, Hotel. the grill, yeah. We've done that a little love bit. Love to sit outside, have a <laughs> cocktail. And <laughs> we need to do that. So what we need to do is find a man who can cook or a chef for that's Marilyn my, Russell. That's the man for me. That would be your Absolutely. ideal man. Absolutely. That's my ideal man. Who could yeah. cook and what else? Oh, well, wait, this is a family show, right? <laughs> this well, is a family can't show. Too <laughs> yeah, <we're laughs> can't get too crazy up in here. Um, we no, could, just, you know, we could smart. talk about SEX. We could just call it like shampoo. Smart just... is very sexy. I okay. think that's the aphrodisiac of my world. I smart think that's, men. Yeah, I think that would be one of the most important components. Animal so. lover. Yeah. Yes, I like dogs. I'm, I'm allergic to cats. And what? When did this turn people. into a singles mingle? Here? I know. Sorry. Well, I have to. I'm putting it out there, you know, because oh, there's so some chef. He's like chopping his onions. Going, I like her. <laughs> Tears streaming down his face. <laughs> oh yeah, she looks great. Because it's blurry. Yeah, that's the man for me. And music, of course, it's my life. Yeah. Well, that's what you know. You know music, which guys think is really cool. Well, I mean, seeing live concerts is one of the best experiences ever. That tangible energy that you get, you feed off of in the room. I always tweet about music, too. I mean, you'll always yeah. find tweets about new bands. If I find something I love, I want to share. And last night, what, the singing competition, somebody did a Rolling Stones song. Um, she did Wild Horses. So, of course, it's like, okay, what's your favorite Stones song? Mine is Moonlight Mile. What's your favorite Stones? Can you think of one? I got a lot of feedback, and that's what I mean by interacting okay. on Twitter. Okay. Ask a question. People want to answer that question. Okay. They want to feel like they're a part of it, you know? So you, you just include people. What's your favorite band? I mean, all time. Of all time? All time. This is, this is oh, hard. It changes from decade to decade. I mean, if we're going back to the 70s, Led Zeppelin ruled. They ruled my world. They still, I'll still sit in my car if Stairway to Heaven comes on and wait for that guitar part. I'm a rocker, I think, more than anything. The 90s was definitely Nirvana. No. And, my, and, my, and Larry, my husband, always says the 80s was the worst. And I love like oh, the, the 80s, 80s music. He says it was the worst, the worst era. What? That's Duran, what he says. Duran, hello. You too, yeah. REM. Yeah. You can't diss on the 80s. See, Larry. La I'm going to, oh, he'll get a tweet from me later. <laughs> what are you doing? And the whole new wave and goth and Depeche See? Mode and See? Cure. Oh, I'll be sending him a list later on. There you yeah, go. Yeah, top 10 best bands See? in the 80s. <laughs> there you go, Larry. We'll be right back with Dawn and Marilyn. That was so funny. Yes, you got
Hey, we're having fun with Marilyn Russell on 95.7 Ben FM, my, my good girlfriend. Just love, uh, just love chilling with you. I was sitting here thinking, we've known each other since 1998. Yeah. That's pretty, that's, that's, that's some great. years. We have yeah. a lot of mutual friends, Lauren Hart. We went through her cancer survival, oh, and we got, I got to get her on the show, too. You, She's just so busy with four kids now, you She's know? amazing. She's an amazing um, woman. Yeah, when she sings at the Flyers, and yes, we're sorry they're not in the playoffs, but she moves everybody to a whole other level. Talk about a great musician. Yeah, absolutely. So you've got some events that you're, that you're emceeing. You're doing, um, and yesterday I talked about Career Wardrobe, and that's coming up um, June the 5th. Right. That, that's an evening of cocktails and fun, not a that great, we like evenings like that. A great, worthy organization who help women get back on their feet yeah. after being unemployed. They do get suits donated, and I'm hosting the fashion show for them. Yes. And then even before then is that Rock and Docs event that is uh, to find a cure for JDRF. Very excited about that. As you know, my son is type 1. So uh, we're raising money for JDRF Friday, May 10th. And it's Docs that rock. I'm thinking maybe I'll meet a nice See, physician. doctor who could cook. <coughs> You better call. And play his guitar. And play your guitar. Right? This would be perfect. This is a good guy for me. Marilyn Russell, <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I love you. See you tomorrow at 11 a.m.